Trace Image is a powerful tool that lets you convert imported image files into vector graphics with just a few clicks. While Lightburn is more than capable of processing image files, vectors have the added benefit of not being limited in resolution by pixels, and their nodes can be edited, allowing for customization. For a further explanation on images versus vectors, check out our documentation linked in the description. To get optimal results out of the Trace Image tool, you want images with high contrast and well-defined edges. Common examples of these include logos, silhouettes, cartoons, sketches, and handwriting. This doesn't mean you can't trace photographs, but the results will vary greatly depending on their composition. To use this tool, start by importing the image file you want to trace, then select it to make it active. Click on the Tools drop-down menu found at the top of your workspace and select Trace Image, or right-click on the image in your workspace and click Trace Image. The top section of the Trace Image window contains the preview. This gives you a live view of the vectors Lightburn has produced of your image, displayed in purple, based on the settings chosen below. As you adjust the settings in this window, the lines will change to reflect the new vectors that result from the updated settings. You can zoom and pan around the preview using the same controls used in your workspace, and double-click the middle mouse button to reset its view, starting with the buttons at the bottom of the window. Fade Image lowers the opacity of the image in preview. This can be helpful with certain images to get a clearer view of the purple vector lines. Click once to activate it and again to disable it. Next is Show Points. Activate this option to show the nodes in the preview of the resulting vector. By default, the Trace Image tool creates a vector using the entire selected image. In some cases, you may only want to trace a specific portion of the image. In the preview, click and drag to create a bounding box. Only sections of the image contained within these bounds are traced. If you're not happy with your selection, click and drag again to place a new bounding box, or click the clear boundary button to remove it altogether. It's important to understand how the adjustment sliders work to ensure your selection is as refined as possible. The cutoff slider controls the lower end of the range of brightness values the Lightburn will outline with vectors, and the threshold slider sets the upper limit. The default range is from 0 to 128, which traces all values in the range of 0 to 128 brightness, excluding values in the range of 129 to 255 brightness. Increase the threshold slider to include lighter values, and increase the cutoff slider to remove darker values. Ignore less than tells Lightburn to not trace areas where the amount of pixels in the valid brightness range is lower than this number. Increase the number of pixels in the ignore less than field to help clean up noisy images by removing small areas from the result. The smoothness value lets you adjust the line segments of the resulting vector. Set it to zero to create only lines and 1.33 to create only curves. Optimize controls the number of nodes generated in the resulting vector. A value of zero means no optimization, and a large value can reduce accuracy. The default value of 0.2 is typically a good balance between accuracy of the result and node count. Use trace transparency to trace an image based on its alpha layer. This can be useful for tracing the outline of a shape with a transparent background, commonly found in PNG images. Sketch Trace is useful for photographs of pages with uneven lighting, like handwriting, sketches, and documents. With this setting enabled, Lightburn looks for edges in the image based on local differences in contrast, rather than relying on the brightness or darkness of the entire image. When Delete Image after Trace is enabled, the original image is removed from the project when you click OK. Once you're done with your adjustments, click OK to confirm and create your vector graphic or cancel to discard and close out of the tool. The resulting vector graphics are grouped by default, so if you want to edit shapes individually, you'll first need to ungroup them. If you didn't have delete image after trace enabled, and you don't see a vector after clicking OK, it may be hidden behind the original image. Click and drag the image out of the way. In some instances, fine details, such as sharp corners and small text, may not be converted well during this process. If changing the trace options doesn't overcome this issue, 
exit the trace image window and try using threshold image mode to engrave the original image instead of tracing it. Now you know how the trace image tool works and how to use it to convert image files into vector graphics, giving you the freedom to use them as cut layers or scale and modify them without the limitations of an image file. Check out our documentation for more information on the trace image tool, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos on mastering Lightburn.